I went into foster care when I was five. Um, I was the oldest of three. Um, I had a younger brother and sister that at the age of five I was taking care of as our mom worked in the bar and would leave me at home to take care of them by myself. We were placed in the foster care system because of abuse and neglect. Um, our mother was an alcoholic and she would bring um, random people home with her from the bar and we were physically, sexually, and emotionally abused by these individuals. We were uh, placed in foster care together during that time and in that process, we ended up being separated. Um, I was separated from my siblings. When I was 12, someone for the first time asked me what I wanted, and I finally recognized that I didn't want to go back home to her because she hadn't changed. I ended up staying in the foster care system until I turned 18. The point where I was separated from my brother, that was probably the lowest point in my life because I felt like everything was taken from me at that time. Um, I had a young family that I was living with. They were in their 20s, and they didn't really understand the emotional trauma that was going on with me, and so they requested for me to be moved. And it was at that point where I had a plan to end my life, and um, was very thankful that God stepped in and, um, you know, provided me a way out. Um, I moved to a smaller school where I knew I actually got to know people on a more personal level, and that's when the Lord brought um, the counselor into my life that ended up becoming a significant uh, part of my life for the rest of my life. I met her at a camp. Um, there was a camp that was going on for foster children called Camp Bold. She happened to be the counselor of the, the small group that I was in, and she um, was really drawn to me and really invested in me that week. And it just happened to be that following couple of weeks when school started that I walked into the school and there she was. She happened to be the counselor at the school um, that I was attending and so God had his way of working that out because I automatically had a connection to someone. She became the consistency in my life and helped me to um, find my self-worth that I didn't recognize that I had um, and helped me to accomplish goals that I had set for myself and helped me to recognize that I had a lot of um, internal beauty that I didn't realize I had. When I graduated from high school, um, she had a conversation with me and said, you know, I just want you to know that, um, you know, I know that you don't have anyone that you can turn to, but I want to let you know that my kids don't ever remember you not being in their lives, and I want to be a part of your life forever. And you always have a home to come home to. You, you have a place to come to your laundry. You know, you have a place to come home for the holidays. And another cool thing is that when I went off to college, she was working on her master's degree when I was working on my bachelor's degree and at the same place that I was going to college. And so God kept her in my life by, you know, we met every Thursday night and went out for dinner. And she just consistently pursued me and that part is really important. I'm very blessed that God intervened in my life and put someone in my path that continually pursued me, continually taught me that, you know, there are there is another way. You don't have to repeat that cycle. You know, I didn't really know what love was until she came into my life. And, you know, all she did was love me the way that God loved her.